why I won't intervene to secure Namdi Kano's release. Barry speaks, gives reasons. See, first and foremost, Namdi Kano is not even asking for Barry's intervention, Malami intervention, or federal government intervention. It doesn't even what Namdi Kano wants is justice, and that is it. It's not asking for any fucking person's intervention. They are the one killing themselves, disturbing themselves, asking for their logs, negotiation, and what have you. Now they can never ask for any of this. And even they themselves, they are afraid. Very, very afraid. They are scared. They are scared. You understand? So they don't want, uh, uh, they don't want, uh, uh, they, they, they are afraid of losing the trial. So saying this is just, <laughs> in fact, I don't know how to call it. You understand? So my listeners, I want to tell you this. Don't be deceived by whatever tension President Mobile will be trying to create or Malami. Because the truth is already revealed of the, of the probability and the possibility of Nnamdi Kanu gaining his freedom by the next hearing. You understand? Of which they themselves they know. Alright? Let's check the content. President Mwame Buhari says he will not intervene to secure the release of Nnamdi Kanu because that will be interfering with the judiciary. Mr. Buari said this in an interview with Channels Television Ed on Wednesday. There is one institution in the country I would not interfere with, which is the judiciary, Mr. Buari said. We are giving him the opportunity to defend himself in Nigeria. The president said, not abusing us far away in Europe. Mr. Kanu, a separatist leader, is currently being prosecuted for treason offenses before the Federal High Court in Abuja. He is being held in the custody of the State Security Services DSS at its headquarters. Repatriated him from Kenya in June this year. An action. His lawyer stamped abduction. Some leaders of the Southeast had met with President Buari and appealed to him to release Mr. Kanu as part of efforts to ensure peace in the country. But speaking during his interview, the president insisted that the IPOP leader would not be released. He said, those who are saying we should release him, we will not release him because you cannot keep on sending incorrect information about the economy and security and think you cannot account for it. At the last sitting in Mr. Kano's trial on December 2nd, the trial judge Bintanyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja adjusted the hearing date. But then, at this last hearing, Namde Kano pleaded not guilty, though he can still defend himself if he pleases, he claims. Hmm. Um, you see, my dear listeners, Mr. Buari, I don't know what he's actually um, thinking or believing. She understand. But one thing I believe for sure is that Nam Kanu is already a victor. Do you understand? It's already a victor. So, um, this one that Buari is talking about, making reference... And all, all, all those ones are too, it's just trying to create shock or tension or make um, Nigerians believe that there, uh, uh, there is still hope for, for the federal government. No single hope. No single hope because Nnamdi Kano has won the trial. Starting from the beginning of the trial to the last trial that just took place now. Eh? Nnamdi Kano has been pleading not guilty. So what do you expect? 
What do you expect? So I see all these things to be, you know, distractions, unnecessary tension that the president is trying to create, which to me is not going to be possible or work. A winner is a winner, and that is Mazin and the Kano. You understand? Of course, yes. He's a winner already. And he's not only going to win the trial, but rather uh, the federal government are going to pay for the damages. Look at the Kenyan government now. Look at the Kenyan government. They have started paying for their own sins. Um, the ambassador, uh, one of the ambassador who has uh, uh, who, who, who knows so much about the extradition just died. Though, according to information gathered, the ambassador was so much by the side of um, of, uh, of, 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 of IPOP. You understand now? It was, uh, it was, uh, it was with the confidence to release the truth to the public before he slumped and died. He planned releasing the truth, but fortunately he wasn't alive to see to see the, the, the last hearings to reveal what he knows about uh, Nnamdi Kano's extradition. Can now see. So, my dear listeners, as you can now see, all these are what we are looking at and trying to say, okay, what are we going to do, how are we going to do it, and what have you. Okay, let's uh, quickly look into uh, uh, your opinion out there to know what you equally have to say, to know uh, so that we can, we can add up and, um, and be able to come up with a justified facts she understand now for the public to get hold of all right if you're new if you're new on this very channel don't forget your comments still are very very important don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you